All right, so now we are ready to add interactivity. We have our beginning of the scene where we, the, the user sees it, uh, the arrow, whoa, <laughs> the arrow saying tap on me. Uh, and then we have kind of the middle section where the, you tap on it and the scene kind of builds and expands there. Uh, it looks great for a digital card, but now we're actually gonna add some interactivity, which will make it kind of really great. So we're gonna add some proximity triggers and a tap trigger uh, in this a little demo for now. Um, all right, so let's start. We're gonna add a proximity trigger to the bear. Now proximity trigger, again, since this is 3D and it goes in your augmented reality experiences, it's set in the real world. We can have triggers that trigger when you get close to something. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do for the bear. So let's unhide him so we can actually work with him. Hello, Mr. Bear. Uh, and let's hit F to focus in on him. And now let's grab him and we're gonna do the proximity trigger. So in trigger, if you don't have Behavior Builder opened up, make sure you click on the little running guy down here uh, and it'll open it up. Uh, you wanna make sure you have the bear selected and then you come in here and you hit Enter Proximity. Uh, and now these are in centimeters. Uh, I actually had to look this up because you know I couldn't remember, but um, 30 centi roughly 30 centimeters equals one foot. Now I wanna have, have it a foot because it'll fit on that as you've been seeing in the demo. It fits on a desk. Um, and so a foot's a nice kind of distance for a desk. Um, you could test it. Oh, actually, hold on, I'm sorry. We had the proximity, but we did not create the actual action. So we're gonna have him play an animation. He will play, uh, the bear comes with an animation. Uh, it is called the bear watching. If you press this play button, you'll actually see him do the animation. He pops up, looks around. Very cute uh, and very charming. This is perfect for our needs. Uh, so when you get within one foot of him, so let's zoom out and let's actually test this. So I'm gonna come out here. Hopefully that's about a more, like maybe I'm a foot away. Uh, or 30 centimeters, uh, and I'll hit preview. So notice that he is not moving, and I'm gonna zoom in on him. And let's see if we enter into that proximity. There we go, we entered the proximity, and he's playing the animation. Perfect, that's what we want. So let's drop back out, um, and just a little, kind of to show you how you know it has animations. If you go in your starter asset, and you see this little icon next to these animals, that means that it does have an animation. Uh, and so you can play animation with those characters. Uh, and that's what we did here. We hit play animation and we selected uh, the bear and we're playing bird watching. Now let's do the same thing. We could hide him now to the deer on the other side. And I'm gonna use a proximity trigger here as well, just cause I feel like they kind of balance the scene. They're two animals. Uh, it makes sense that they'd kind of behave the same. So let's hit F to focus in on the bear or on the deer. Uh, and I'm gonna come in here to triggers and I'm gonna hit proximity, enter proximity trigger. And the action, I'm gonna have play animation. And we know he plays an animation cause we saw it. Uh, here in the starter assets uh, and the play animation he's going to play is deer grazing he only has one clip so you, some some characters eventually will have more than one clip but he only has one so let's hit the play button and see what that looks like Ooh, it looks very nice he's eating kind of he's having a little dinner um looks around it's perfect so let's make sure we set this proximity correctly we want it to be one foot so roughly 30 centimeters uh, and that is good to go too so now we could hide him Pink. Now I want to do one other trigger, and that is a spin on the sun. I actually want to tap the sun. Now the sun is so bright that it actually makes you want to tap it and interact with it. So that's why I'm adding a tap to the sun. So I'm going to do tap. It's already set here, uh, and I'm going to I'm going to do a spin. Uh, where is it? Spin. Okay. And remember what we were talking about before. We have Y was up. I wanted to go around the Z axis. So I'm gonna go Z, cause Z's out. Uh, and I think uh, two seconds is good. So let's check it out. Nice, it spins. Now there's something here I wanna point out. Since this is an interactive scene and I have a tap on here, you really wanna have that action start quickly. And that tells the user that they did something. If a user taps something and it takes a while for, for that, that action to actually take place, they don't, they, they have a hard time making that connection of, I tapped it, it did something. So I always recommend doing a um, ease out into the next, is that right, ease into the next? Nope, ease out. So it's gonna ease out of this animation into the other animation, which means it's gonna accelerate at first and then ease, it'll slow down. So you can watch this, it goes quick and then it slows to an end, it slows to a stop. That's what we want. Cause that'll make it feel when they tap it, it'll feel reactive and responsive. And that's what we want for interactivity. Um, all right, so that's good too, so let's test it out. Um, we have the arrow, let's move the whole scene, so we'll tap it so it moves the arrow, 
And then let's come in here and let's tap this up. Bam. Oh, and look at that. We we're already in the proximity of the animals because we were in so tight. So let's zoom out and let's see if I come in close. Uh, it's hard to navigate with this um, when you're trying to get precise like that. So come on, bear. Let's see if we get close to the bear. There he goes. He does his animation. And if I tap on the sun, it does the animation in there too. If I spin over here, there goes the deer. Pretty fun stuff. Awesome. So that's it. Um, you can add other stuff too if you like. You can make the trees spin. You can have the clouds expand, bounce, do whatever you want. Uh, you can uh, add more animals. Uh, all good things. Um, in the next tutorial, I am actually going to show you how to add an anime GIF to the Have an Earthy Day. Um, adding some audio to give it a little ambient sound, and then how to share this out um, with with the world. All right. Thank you. Okie